Hey everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV in Round Rock, Texas. Today I'm gonna to show you around the 2022 A-Liner Expedition. Now, they make two expeditions and one is a family expedition, the other one is standard. We're gonna take a look at the standard expedition, so be sure not to get those mixed up. This trailer is only 18 feet long and when it folds down, it is only 68 inches tall, so it fits in every garage. Let's talk about weight. The weight of this trailer in the brochure is gonna show 1850, but there are some options on this trailer, notably the dormers, and that is gonna add weight. What I love, there is a sticker on every A-liner right here that tells you exactly what it weighs coming out of the factory door. This one is 2253 with a 251 pound tongue weight. So be sure to check those stickers if you're shopping for an A-liner. There are only four options on this trailer. The first one is dormers. These are hard dormers, but you can get ones with canvas sides. They're called soft dormers. The other option is gonna be a grill on the outside. Now there is a rail there on all the expeditions, so be sure to look for that grill if it's important to you. The cassette toilet is an option inside, and you can get an extreme off-road package that's gonna give you a heavier axle and an off-road tire. Those are the only features that are optional. So be sure to check on what's important to you. Everything else that we show you on this trailer is standard, but be sure to check with your dealer because things can change even within the same model year. All right, let's go inside and take a look. So for a compact trailer, I love the feel of the inside of an A-Liner. Now this is the Expedition, so it is the largest of the A-frames that A-Liner makes. And in the center, it's an eight foot peak. So lots of headroom, even for folks that are a lot taller than my five foot. This right here still gives plenty of head space. This is a really nice open dormer. It's one of the reasons I really am uh, a fan of the hard dormers because it just makes it feel like a larger room in here. Over here, when you first walk in on the right, is a dinette. A lot of people move up to the Expedition because it's a little wider than the smaller versions. It is 82 inches long. That is longer than a queen size bed. So when this is made into the dinette bed, it's 38 inches wide and 82 inches long. The leatherette is very soft and the table doesn't really crowd you as you're coming in. So I really like that feature in this dinette. It is a freestanding table, so you could put it outside if you wanted, leave it inside. Maybe if you didn't need a table at all, you could leave it at home. Give you a kind of a sofa feel on this end. A light right at the top makes this a great workspace as well. Now the windows, when you have the dormer, are a sliding window, slide to the right. This is glass instead of the standard skylight that you would see in an A-frame that didn't have the dormer. Great for a cross breeze, and I will show you at the end how to fold them up and down. Very simple, it's just like a small A-frame right here, and then you pull the roof down. Okay, when you make the bed, there are panels that are right in here in the back, and lift them up, lay them across, and then simply pull these cushions right over it. Another thing that I like to point out is that you can fold up this table, slide it in the slot right here at the back, and it's completely out of the way while you're camping. If you needed this area for storage, you can also put it in the slot on this end of the dinette, and it kind of makes a storage space right here where things won't slide around, and you can pack in between that space. Just a lot of different options there. Now I've moved the table out of the way because I wanna show you the storage underneath. Just lift up this cushion here, and there is a hole. Just put your finger in it and it pops right up. And you have great space under here for storage, access from the outside. A few more things. There is a plug right down here. There are actually three plugs in this camper. 
I like the one under the dinette because of course this is a great place for charging your phone, working on a computer, that type of thing. Let me show you real quickly how the dormer goes down. Very simple to do. You'll undo the latches on the end and these sides just fold down. Then you can pull from the top and the entire dormer slides down. There's a latch on the outside to keep it secure. Very simple to do. One more thing I want to point out. There is a drape that comes down to cover this hinge and not only does it make it look really nice, but it is a help if you're in a situation with a lot of condensation. I mean, that just happens in small trailers. So this is going to wick up some of that moisture and make your trailer look nice at the same time. All right, let's move on to the kitchen. There's a lot to see there. The kitchen in this expedition, it's impressive. Let's start right here. There is a three cubic foot, three way refrigerator. And if you open it up, it's got a pull down freezer at the top and three shelves on the door. Nice for a compact trailer. Great counter space up above and right next to it, the microwave. Down below, this is gonna be your forced air furnace. Keeps this unit really toasty, so don't worry about cold weather. Right above that, the glass top stove. Now, having the glass top, all of this can be counter space over here. So lots of places to work if you're preparing food. Just lift this up. Two nice size burners and a sparker in the middle. You don't need a match. Great for camping. Just lift it up, pull it down, and again, flush with the countertop. On this end, this sink is about eight inches deep. It is brushed aluminum and the faucet swivels up and down. This is a marine faucet because of course, when the walls fall down on this expedition, everything has to be below the hinge. So this moves around. You'll wanna be sure to push it down before you fold down your camper. The handle is really interesting. Uh, you know, we have people tell us it's not working correctly, but it's kind of tricky up and down, hot and cold, and then just pull it out to turn the faucet on. Let's look at the switches down below. On this panel, it starts with the water heater. This is an LP water heater, six gallons. And when you turn that on, this auxiliary light comes on. The water pump is next to it. And then there is a refrigerator vent switch here that's not in use, it's just a blank plate. There is another uh, 110 plug right here. There are three in all in this trailer. Makes it very convenient. A little storage underneath. Let's take a peek. Really quite a bit of space under there. So in this panel, there really is Quite a nice kitchen. Let's look across at the cassette toilet next. In the beginning, I mentioned that the cassette toilet is an option, but if you don't choose that option, this entire space would be storage. Either way, you're gonna have great countertop space here. Now with the cassette toilet, this half of the countertop just flips up and your cassette toilet is underneath. You know, it is great for those nighttime emergencies and which case you can just slide everything over and leave this open. Now the cassette toilet is a little concerning to some people, but at the end of the video, once we get outside, I'll show you how that works. Let's check out the storage on the other side. This cabinet opens up and the top half is gonna have an open shelf. Below that is two pull out plastic trays. They call it smart storage. Easy to work with, these just pull out. You can take them out completely if you wanna wash them or set it on top to look through them, but it's an easy way to store things. Next, let's take a look at the sofa and the main sleeping area. Heading back to the sofa, it is very comfortable and it's where a lot of people will spend most of their time. This pulls out to make your bed. Remember, it's 82 inches long it's about 56 inches wide. So it's a little narrower than a queen size bed, about the size of a double. 
There's lots of controls and connections right here next to the kitchen. Let's take a look. There's two USB ports on the side of the cabinet, as well as the controls for the air conditioner. Now that air conditioner is located underneath this seating with vents right here in front. There's also the controls for the furnace. Down below, you'll also see a cable TV connection. If you wanted to have a TV in here, just set it up on the counter and hook it in right there with a 12 volt port too, if you need that. Below that is a carbon monoxide LP detector, which you'll find in every trailer, particularly down by the floor, because that LP is heavier than air, and so that keeps you safe while you're sleeping. The converter is also located there, and the front of that is gonna have your breakers and fuses. Now let me show you how to turn the sofa into a bed. There is an elastic band right here in the middle, and that just keeps this sofa in place when you're traveling down the road. So unhook that from the bottom and then simply pull the base straight out. Once you lay down the cushions, you have a very comfortable bed. The third plug in this camper is right down here at the end of the storage cabinet. And the last thing I wanna show you is the fantastic vent on the roof. This fan is reversible, so it can pull air in from the outside or vent it out of your camper. Great to create a breeze. Now, let's head outside. There is more to see. They packed a lot of great things on the inside of this trailer, but there's some great things on the outside. And I'm gonna start with a cassette toilet. You know, we get so many questions about that. It's a little worrisome for some people, but it is so easy. This compartment has the cassette and to remove it, you just lift the tab underneath and pull directly out. There is a handle at the back, a handle at the top, very easy to hold on to. This extends just like a rolling suitcase. And then with the wheels on the bottom, you just roll it to wherever you are gonna dump it. I like to use the bathroom at the campsite. You can dump it in the toilet, just like a mop bucket, or you can use a sewer hookup or a dump station, of course. This swivels out at the top and unscrew the cap like that. And when you're dumping it, you grab the handle at the front and there's a push button right here for your thumb. That's gonna allow air to go into the cassette so that it'll dump smoothly without splashing. Just roll it up, put the cap back on. Of course, you can put a hose in the top and clean it out if you'd like. Swivel this back into place and then slide it right back in. This cap opens up when you slide it in so there is no fuss, no muss. You just slide it right back into place and it's ready to go. It really is easy. On the side, you'll find two electrical outlets and the standard aluminum wheels with 14 inch tires. Remember I had mentioned there is an extreme off-road and that extreme off-road package has 15 inch off-road tires and a heavier axle. It does give you a little more ground clearance so be sure to check that out if that's important. And over here, the rail will always be here in case you wanna add the exterior grill, that's an option. The gas port is right underneath. Now you can use that gas port with your own gas grill if you add something that you already have. And storage right here underneath the sofa. All right, let's move around to the back. A-Liner has added a diamond plate on the back and on the front. The spare tire mounted to the bumper, standard, and you do have manual stabilizer jacks on all four corners. Next, your connections. The city water fill right here on the end, that's where you'd hook up to the hydrant, of course. To fill your fresh water tank, just pull the cap off, fill it right there, it's 11 gallons, and the six gallon propane water heater is next to that. Right over here, of course, your shore power hookup, and cable TV hookup right there, in case you're at a park that has cable TV. Right up front, 
The vent for the furnace is right here. The outside shower, it's so handy for washing off your feet at the beach, washing the dog, even cleaning barbecue grills, things like that. Hot and cold fits right here in this compartment. Let's look down below for just a minute and you'll see low point drains and you'll also see the drain for the sink. There isn't a gray tank on here, so you can either use a bucket or a tote tank, whatever works best for you. Venting for the refrigerator and the compartment, of course, on the other side of the dinette right here. On this front corner here is a Zamp solar port. Really helpful if you wanna camp somewhere other than in a campground, you can plug in here, put a solar panel out in the sun and it will keep your batteries charged. Around the front, diamond plate rock guard, dual propane, automatic switchover regulator, and a manual jack, all standard. If you wanna to upgrade to an electric jack, that can easily be done at your dealer. There's also the stabilizer jacks on the front, just like we saw in the rear. And one more thing up here, handles. You will see handles on both sides of this trailer because if you need to adjust it a little bit or push it around, if you're on flat ground, that's very doable. One last thing, there is a compartment in the front on the other side of that dinette and a porch light. I love the way this is low enough that it lights up the step when it's at night so you're safe coming in and out. All right, now that we've shown you all the features, let's show you how to put it down. If you're wondering how easy this is to fold down, let me show you. First, you'll wanna fold down all the cushions so that nothing is above the hinge. Then start with the dormers. If you have that dormer option, just fold in the sides and pull the top down. Be sure to turn off those lights. Next, you'll wanna unlatch the side walls at the rear because they'll be difficult to reach once you fold them down. Then move to the other side. Once that dormer is folded down, the lights off and the cushions, of course, are folded down below the hinge, you're ready to do the sidewalls. Start at the rear, unlatch the front latch, and fold the wall down that is opposite the entrance door. Next, disconnect the top and the bottom on the sidewall. You can fold that top out and it can lay on the side of the wall so you don't have to worry about it moving around. Just duck through the opening where the entrance is and fold that wall down as well. Step out of the trailer, be sure you close the top half of the entrance door and you're ready for those roof panels. To fold the roof panels down, I like to use a step ladder because at five foot tall, it gives me a little more leverage on those roof walls. Give it a good tug, it's gonna fold down naturally and you'll be able to latch it on both sides. Remember to latch the dormers before you take off. If you're looking to set it up, you simply do it exactly opposite. After a few times of practice, you'll be able to do it in two minutes, no problem. I hope you've enjoyed seeing all of the great features that go along with this expedition trailer. If you have questions, let us know or give us a call here at Princess Craft. We'll be glad to help you. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.